Well, Roy has had his press conference for the FA Cup replay against Everton, which is taking place in next, uh, tomorrow. And he's um, he's basically said some quite interesting things, actually, which I'm going to talk to you about. But uh, if you want to keep up to date with what's going on at Crystal Palace, then don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the bell for notifications and like this uh, video as well and all those good things. Thank you very much. So, first of all, he was asked about the injury situation. He said that Elise is uh, not going to be available for Everton. He won't be available for the next game, which is Arsenal. And after that, they're not sure. In fact, he says he's not. They're not entirely sure how long it's going to take for him to get fit, because uh, they're taking it carefully. But um, he says it's certainly not going to be available um, for this game or for the next game. So uh, there's a bit of an update on that there. Raksaki apparently is um, available. He hasn't trained. I don't think he said with the first team, but he has been kind of in training. I imagine with the medical team, and uh, he is available. So we may well see something of him but um, I don't think you will see him in the uh, FA Cup replay anyway I don't think that he'll be ready for that but um, he is uh, he is now fit Rob Holding is still injured as is of course Chip DeCruy so uh, they're still long-term injuries as well and also Joel Ward is still injured so it's going to be Nathaniel Klein at the back for us again most likely so it's probably going to be a very similar team to what Roy put out in the first game against Everton so uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. But I think it's going to be pretty much the same team going out. He did say a couple of interesting things when they were talking about transfers. Now, of course, he is always very cagey, as you would expect. Um, he was asked about um, Calvin Phillips. And he said that Calvin Phillips is obviously a very good player. He said that um, if, uh, if the Manchester City were looking to sell him, then he didn't think Crystal Palace would have uh, would be you know available in that kind of um, fight to buy him but they said he said if they were going to loan him then uh, he would like you know he would hope that Crystal Palace would be able to step forward and put their hand up and say that they would uh, like to come in for him so I mean obviously he just said I don't know necessarily what uh, financially whether the club would be able to do it but he said he would, that's something he would uh, hope might happen so there's the possibility that uh, he's been in discussions with Steve Parrish or maybe Duke Friedman about Calvin Phillips. Certainly said he was a good player and he says that um, he thinks that Crystal Palace could offer him first team football, which would be what he would needed given that the uh, England team are going to be in action in the summer. So that is one that is one thing that I think he would uh, he would obviously want. He would want first team football and he would get it at Palace, there's no doubt. So... Uh, that is uh, one incentive for him if he does decide to come. Although I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. The other one he said was uh, David Munoz. And at first he said who? Um, and then he said, oh yeah, I know who you mean. He said, I have seen a video of him. Uh, he said he, is a, he, he did look like a good player. I have seen a video of him. So interesting that he's seen a video of him. So maybe he's been shown a video in preparation for perhaps the club looking to make a bid for him. Or perhaps he's just seen his a video of him in relation to something else. I don't know. But the fact that he's seen a video of him would suggest that uh, perhaps he's he's been asked, perhaps his opinion on what this uh, guy might be like and whether he would be a good fit for the team. Who knows? But it was an interesting statement that he made anyway that he's seen this video of this guy. And and, and, that, and that was pretty much it. That's just about as much as the uh, the interview went on for you. But there was talk about the financial fair play situation. And uh, he said, you know, that obviously he uh, he understands that fans like to have, uh, you know, the, the idea that the club will buy players whenever they whenever they can. But he said that he's, um, you know, he, he's very happy with the fact that Steve has to be careful in terms of the finances and in terms of tra transfers. And, that you know, managers have to, uh, uh, you know, understand when they take on a job, uh, what the expectations are and what the, you know, the financial situation is. So. I think he's fairly pragmatic about it. I think he obviously he would like a couple more players, but I think he understands that Steve Parrish isn't going to just recklessly spend money. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But I mean, I'm pleased in some ways that um, that we're not going to be involved in any f financial fair play situations. I was surprised that Nottingham Forest haven't been before now. I'm, you know, I guess it takes a while to, you know, look into these allegations and whatever. But you know, it doesn't didn't surprise me should we say, that Chelsea and Nottingham Forest are involved in this. So um, we'll have to wait and see what happens with those two. But that's what happened in terms of the of the press conference. Let me know your predictions for the game tomorrow, the score predictions down in the, uh, down in the comments section. I think that, um, I don't think we're going to win. 
I don't think we're going to win the game. I think we'll lose probably maybe uh, 2-1 or 2-0 or or something like that. I don't think we're going to win the game. To be fair, yeah, I'd like to go on a cup run. I really would. But I think it would be a good thing if we don't because it means that we can concentrate on the league, which is something that um, I think we do need to concentrate on, especially if we don't manage to get anyone in the in the transfer window, which is a possibility. So, uh, so yeah, that's my prediction. I think we're going to uh, lose the game, unfortunately. But let me know what you think down in the comments section. And I will see you next time.